Hey, what's up everybody? How's it going? I'm the Framed, and welcome back to the next episode of my Diablo 2 Lore Structure playthrough with the Assassin. Alright, so in the last episode, we did make our way to Tristram to save Deckard Cain. We also made our way uh, to the Black Marsh to map out the area, grab the waypoint, and uh, locate the Forgotten Tower, which is what we're going to try and um, explore here today. If you remember from the last episode, we did get the waypoint here for the Black Marsh, and it is right next to the uh, the Forgotten Tower, which is super awesome. Just make our way right on in here and start making our way towards the Countess. And I actually need to get my buffs up here. So the uh, this area is actually not too difficult to get through. It does have five levels that you have to navigate, but that's not too terrible. We do have a lot of enemies here, though. Uh, and... Are they yeah it's a it's a boss pack so we do got to be a little bit careful here it looks like my I cannot click looks like my Merc is actually taking a fair amount of damage and he is running away he's just booking it on out of there that's okay we got this don't worry about it you just chase you just chase for a while we'll we'll take care of this there we go think of these gauntlets I do not have the the appropriate potions but my uh, my shadow did die there that's that's too bad here we go let's uh, let's just take her down too. And so, I, I can't remember what I did in normal difficulty, if I uh, mapped out this entire area or not. Let's just, let's just pick this up, see what this is all... Ooh, it has two sockets, guys. Ooh, oh, but the defense is pretty much the same. Shucks, I thought the, uh, the defense was going to be a lot better, but it does have two sockets. Uh, I mean, it really doesn't change anything. Dang it! Dang. I... Do I keep it? I don't know. We'll, we'll just leave it right there for right now. I was really hoping that was going to be something awesome. I'm kind of uh, kind of really bummed, actually. But uh, like I was saying, I, I don't remember what I did in the first difficulty if I mapped out the entire area or if uh, I just went straight for the Countess and, uh, you know, didn't bother taking down all the enemies in the area. But uh, what we're going to do here in this difficulty is book it right for uh, the Countess because uh, we're just looking to get the runes. And uh, since I got such a good map spawn or waypoint spawn or whatever you want to call it, I'll probably be doing a few runs here on the Countess here in Nightmare Difficulty just to see what I can get. Because uh, you never know, maybe I'll get some uh, higher level runes that I can use the uh, Transmute Cube uh, and uh, maybe get some nicer rune words or nicer weapons, helmet, something. I don't know. Let's, uh, let's get my my shadow back out here. And there's probably a shaman uh, in that group somewhere. Maybe not. Oh, this is another champion pack. I don't think I want to. Nope. Yeah, I'm not going to take that. Nah, yeah, nope. Nope. We're, we're, <laughs> we're going to go here. Um, wow. Look at all the things, guys. Look at all the things that we're going to pick up. And let's take down the... I'm clicking on items on accident. There we go. Let's take... Wow! Both my Merc and my Shadow died? Huh. Well, that happened. Okay, let's, uh... Let's, let's go back to town and waste our money getting our, getting our Merc back. Here we go. Here's my money. Uh, you're welcome. Alright, so let's uh, sell some of this stuff. And... Sell, sell, sell. That I can't use this. Or maybe I can use it on something else. Is there another rune word that I could use? Like, smoke would be the next rune word that I would use. But I believe that uses a lum rune. I don't know if I can get a lum rune. Man, I'll, still, I'll keep it for right now. I'll keep it for right now. I don't think I have any room in my inventory. Or my, my stash right now, though. Yeah, my stash is pretty packed. Uh, Yeah, I don't know what I'm gonna going to have to do about that. We'll just... We'll just have a smaller inventory for this episode, I guess. <clears throat> Alright, so let's just uh, pick up some of the things. There's a sapphire right there. Go ahead and pick that up. Uh, waypoint, and there we go. Call that good. Make our way down this way. We're going to we're gonna skip those other guys, the, that boss pack there. We're just going to we're gonna skip that one, okay? Uh, because they were a little bit scary, and there was a lot of other enemies there as well. So uh, sometimes you got to pick your battles, guys. Pick your battles, and uh, uh, just, just got to be smart about things. If uh, certain enemies are too difficult, just, just skip them. There's no shame. No shame at all. All right, so let's make our way down this way. I believe the door should be right over here. Maybe. 
Go ahead and take down these guys here. I am taking some damage. Holy cats. <clears throat> there we go. Take down those guys. Come on, stop running away from me. Pick up the money. If I need potions, I can use a potion. Pick up the potion. Uh, a few more enemies here that will take down, I suppose. There we go. Pick up that. Pick up that. All that good. All right, let's keep going. Door should be right here. Make our way to the third level. And uh, like I said, there are five levels to this area. So uh, chances are, you know, if I do end up doing runs, if if you guys are curious how I, I, I do things, just a little bit of uh, behind the scenes kind of stuff, I guess. Um, when I, that's not what I wanted. When I do runs on areas, like if I were to do uh, Mephisto runs or in this case, uh, Countess runs, I'll do them on Players 1, you know. I am doing Players 8 for the uh, the playthrough, but if I'm doing runs on an area or on a boss, I do it on Players 1. My reasoning behind this, uh, you guys, you know, you see me defeat the boss or do whatever on Players 8. So just to prove that I am, I, I can do it, uh, you know, just have that confirmation. But then, uh, you know, when I do the runs, I'll put on players one because uh, the main reason or one of the main reasons for uh, putting it on players eight is for the higher quantity of items. You don't get better quality, but you get higher quantity. Uh, in other words, you get more items the, uh, the higher the player's setting is. And when doing... A boss run, while that maybe extra one, maybe two items might be nice, it takes you a lot longer to defeat the boss. And I have found in my experience, uh, you know, your experiences may be different than mine, but in my experiences, uh, it is more efficient to run the boss on a lower setting and get... Uh, you know, just normal amount of items then take a longer amount of time to only get one, maybe two more items. In my experience, like I said, it's more efficient doing it that way. And the same kind of goes for the Countess here. You essentially get more or less the same amount of runes playing on Players 1 as you are on Players 8. So it's just more efficient to do it on Players 8. But like I said, I am uh, on Players 8 right now. So, uh, you know, just to prove that I can complete or defeat uh, the, the Countess here on Players 8. Just, just a little bit behind the scenes, if you guys were curious of, uh, you know, what I do, how I do things. But anyways, let's keep going here, and these guys are killing me. Isn't that great? That's, uh, that's not what I wanted. That's what I wanted. Throw down the Cloak of Shadows, make things a little bit easier on myself here. There we go. Take down this enemy here. <clears throat> They're just all running away from- I need to take down this guy. I got Snot Skull here. Snotty Skull. And... Wow! Is this another boss? It is another boss pack. Okay. Okay, guys. Okay. This is, uh, get, beginning to get a little bit- a little bit hairy, I guess you could say. These guys are doing a lot of damage to me. Um, let's go ahead and throw down that. Throw down that. There we go. Making things a little bit easier on ourselves using the uh, Cloak of Shadows. Go ahead and throw down Cloak of Shadows once again. Taking down that chick. I don't. I forgot to look at her name. That's my bad. Uh, let's pick up these uh, these uh, super healing potions though. Make sure our buffs are up. <clears throat> and uh, let's take down these guys. I'm gonna go ahead and use a potion on myself here. I need to get my uh, my shadow back out though. <clears throat> Take down the. Okay, somebody's slowing me. There must be another uh, another one of the the minions somewhere. I'm gonna pick up this reju potion because I I am a little bit low on the reju potions. I have had to use a few in the past. Take down. Okay, okay. This chick right here. She needs to die. Where, where are you? Okay, I thought... So who was slowing me? I was getting slowed by somebody. Who? I don't know. 
Anyways, let's take down these guys. I guess I thought I was getting slower. Maybe I'm just blind, or I, I'm imagining things. Pro probably a little bit of both. And, uh, you know, the way things go for me is probably a little bit of both. Uh, we're skipping those enemies. Just going to skip them. I'm uh, going to make our way, I guess, over here. We won't skip these enemies. We'll go ahead and take down these guys right here. And where did they go? Did they they're just run away? Here we go. Here's one right here. There we go. Uh, another one here. And one more right there. There we go. Um, so see what this nothing there. We got a uh, a boss back here. Going to throw down the cloak of shadows. Make things a little bit easier on ourselves. Get him up against the wall so I'm not knocking him back and having to chase after him. Going to uh, throw down cloak of shadows yet again. There we go. Alrighty, so let's pick up some of these items. That skull is something I want to pick up. The uh, Let's see, do I need potions? Of course I need potions. I always need potions, guys. Come on. Come on. All right, so, okay, I can actually see the door or the way down to the next area over this way. So we'll make our way over here. Got a few enemies in here. Yikes, more than a few enemies. Cloak of shadows make things a little bit easy on ourselves. Here we go. Blind all of them here one more time. If I oh, I got uh, yeah, my hate recovery is pretty bad. I guess I don't know because I got a little bit stunned there. All right, ooh, a jewel, nice. Let's uh, let's actually identify this jewel. See what we got. Plus three to life. That's a bunch of garbage. All right, so let's make our way over here to the door, and we are here on the fifth level, as you can see. So we are going to be taking on the countess. Uh, and uh, <clears throat> for those of you that may not know, on these uh, side areas here, there is a bunch of money uh, that you can pick up. I am, I'll just pick up a little bit of it here. Uh, I don't want to spend, whoopsie, too much time, you know, picking up stuff. But uh, we'll, okay, this guy needs to die, though. You guys are just whacking me in the face. And I just, I really am not appreciative of it. All right, open up these chests. Not, not a whole lot. Let's, uh, let's get our buffs back up, and we're just going to book it right for the Countess. She should, or should, she is always over this direction. Uh, she will always be in the upper center, up center of, uh, of this area. Every single time, uh, diamond, or demon hide armor, is that what that said? Let's, uh, let's pick that up, see what that's all about. Uh, that's got two sockets as well, and it has a lot more defense. So that armor is actually a lot better than the other armor, even though, let's see, I think this is also medium armor. I can't remember, but uh, we'll, we'll keep this one. How about that? Uh, let's go ahead and throw down some of that, some of that. Let's, uh, let's actually, whoops, get my shadow back out. And I actually need to make my way in there. Because um, I need I need to actually be in there to actually do things. Um, can you let me in? Thank you. I'm going to throw down the Cloak of Shadows. There are a lot of enemies in here, everybody. And my Merc is going to die. Don't die, friend. Got to use a potion. All right, killing the Countess. Got her in my sights. There we go. Oh, I think she had teleportation. That was weird. I don't know if that uh, that happens very often, but it was kind of funny. All right, so let's take down the rest of these minions here, and then we will check out what she dropped. Oh, I, I leveled up. Hot doggo. So, wait a second. I don't see what she dropped at all. Maybe there's just too many items on the screen. Because is this one of those times where she doesn't drop anything at all? On my first run here in Nightmare Difficulty, she doesn't drop any runes? No, she dropped a couple. Okay, there's just too many items, or too many, yeah, items, I guess, on the screen. So, well, we're going to be picking up the money here, I guess. And uh, call that good. Pick up the ring. Pick up the am rune. It looks like she only dropped one rune. So, like I was saying earlier, uh, you know, even though I am on players eight, she only dropped one rune. So it's more efficient to just run her on players one and get however many runes she she'll drop. So it's just, again, guys, a little bit more efficient that way, at least in my experience. Uh, but anyways, let's see. I do. It, is there potions on the ground? Of course, I need potions. Come on. All right, so get a potion there. Pick up that potion. Uh, ooh, large charm. I want the charm. I want the charm. Uh, let's see what this charm... Whoops. See what this charm is. Mana. That is a bunch of garbage. Pick up this charm. Something good, something good, something good. 
Something not good. I don't know if that's even applied to my kicks. I I am not I am not positive. Alright, so we did take down the Countess here, everybody. We'll make our way back to town. Uh, that quest is officially completed. And uh, make our way over here to Akara to uh, get rid of some of this stuff. Garbage. Um... I think what I have on my Merc is a little bit better, but we'll keep it for right now. I'll check it later. And uh, that's garbage. And... Ooh, that's a lot of poison res. Fire res. Lightning res. Golly, that's garbage. Um, we'll, we'll figure out what we want to do with these items a little bit later. What we are going to do is put our points somewhere here. And I believe I should put some more points into Vitality, I think. Because, yeah, unless I want to put some points in here for future gear. Um, maybe, yeah, I think I'll put five more points into this guy. And then next level, I'll put five more points into this guy. And then maybe pump my Vitality a little bit more. And, see, what did I say last episode? I think I said I might start pumping this guy a little bit more. Start getting a little bit more damage with my Dragon Talon. I think that's what I'm going to do. Let's uh, let's see how much damage we actually gain from putting a point into here. It goes from 156 max to 160. We gain a whole 4 damage, everybody. That's awesome. Uh, that's really not all that much. And again, I'm not sure... I'm honestly not positive right now if I gain elemental damage from charms. Uh, I might have to check on that a little bit later... I'm not positive. It, does, it doesn't show up on the tooltip. Elemental damage doesn't show up on the tooltip, unfortunately. So you never really know. But uh, I think we are going to end things here, everybody, for today. In the next episode, we'll start making our way through the monastery, I believe. Uh, or at least make our way through the Tomei Highlands. I believe that's how you pronounce that. To the monastery and probably make our way through the first section of the monastery. Most likely getting Charcy's Hammer, the Project Malice. And uh, finding the jail, at least, I guess. I think, yeah, I think that sounds like a good plan for the next episode. But we are going to end things here for today. So if you like what you saw, go ahead and hit that like button. If you have any comments, questions, advice, go ahead and leave those down in the comment section. If you'd like to stay up to date with what I'm doing here with my Diablo 2 lower structure playthrough with the Assassin, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Also, appreciate it if you more to my Facebook page, my Twitch page, and my DeviantArt Art page. And if you'd like, follow me over there. But until next time, hope you guys have a wonderful day, and I'll catch you all next time. Bye.